So it's about 1120. I was wanting to get on the road by noon. So this is just perfect to get gas, get everything set and head off. Once I'm kind of settled more and on the interstate in a good spot, I'll talk to you a little bit more, but right now it's stamp joy or bust. Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and welcome to the first video in my Stamp Joy 2021 vlog series. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I got prepped for the trip, the drive there, and meeting my sister at the hotel. I hope that you'll enjoy this video and if you're not already subscribed, I hope by the end of it, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even ring that bell for notifications. Before I could actually get in the car like I shared on the intro to this video, I did have quite a few things to get ready and that included some fun custom products I was going to take along with me. The first of these is the mask that I'm showing on screen now and I actually just made that here at home with some gold HTV and a plain black cotton mask. This is also the same art I use on my merch in my Teespring store. If you're interested in checking that out, I will have it linked in the description box below. Over on the right were the custom business cards I made to take with me. I thought if I made any new crafty friends, this would be a handy way to give them my information. You saw me cutting them out there with my silhouette. That way I could have that fun shape on the top around my logo. And on the left were the little event agendas I made for us. Originally they were hole punched and laminated to hang off the custom backpacks I made, which you'll see in a little bit. But then Lisa ended up making us some special badge reels, so I reformatted the file to fit that size. And since I didn't know yet which Olympics we were going to be in, I made three different versions and we'll just put the one that we need in our reel when we get there. Next, I packed up my backpack and this is actually what I carried all weekend with like my ID, my money, my credit card, and because I am taking the class, I had to bring some crafty supplies. So those also went in here. Now, if you only did the make and takes, you didn't have to bring anything crafty. It was all provided, but this was just a handy way to carry it around and not have it in my hands. To protect my little info cards, I did put them in a little baggie before putting them into the backpack. And then speaking of safety, I did also put my mask in there. And then for the side, I had a little bottle of hand sanitizer so I could easily use that after the make and takes. After I packed up this bag, I did head to bed for the night, and here you can see a close-up of the customization I did. Now, if you're interested in these little backpacks, I will have the Amazon affiliate link in the description box below. I almost had a cute little stowaway on the trip, but once I got Aspen out of my suitcase, I finished packing my clothes. I did take a few of my crafty t-shirts, including my Oh So Inspired and both of my hashtag card maker t-shirts. Once again, if you're interested in these, I do have my merch link in my description box. For shoes, I wore my cute tie-dye Converse, but I did take a more sensible pair of walking shoes in case my feet hurt from the Converse. In the other half of the suitcase, I put all of my electronics and cords. That way I just had one bag to lug most stuff up to the hotel room. I put in all my cables, my charger cords, my mouse. But even though I have all those cables, I ended up forgetting my Apple Watch charger. But luckily, my table mate had one and let me borrow it for a little bit. My laptop and my little lap desk went in my hashtag card maker tote. And then my microphone, of course, for our live on Saturday night. Speaking of that, if you didn't see our live recap and Q&A from the event, it will be linked in the description box below. 
After I packed the suitcase, it was time to pack the really important stuff, the snacks and drinks. I took some sugary snacks, some crackers, some popcorn, and of course, my Diet Coke. Lisa and I both packed snacks and drinks like we were going to be in the hotel room eating all weekend. And while the snacks didn't get touched very much, it was definitely a good thing that we brought Diet Coke and waters. We definitely ended up using them. Once the cooler was packed, it was time to load up the car and head off for Des Moines. Well, I am officially all packed, ready to go. Did my goodbye kisses, said my I love yous, and it is time to get almost on the road. I do want to stop and get some gas. Now, normally I would buy a fountain soda, but I did go ahead and take one of those koozies out of the cooler and I just brought my own can of Diet Coke that was from the fridge. And of course, like you saw, I have my trusty water bottle with me too. So it's about 1120. I was wanting to get on the road by noon. So this is just perfect to get gas, get everything set and head off. Once I'm kind of settled more and on the interstate in a good spot, I'll talk to you a little bit more, but right now it's stamp joy or bust. Now that I'm out of the city and the road is clearer and not so packed, I thought I would just um, turn on the camera, kind of talk to you a little bit about my trip, a little bit about Stamp Joy. Be assured my eyes are not looking at you. They are on the road because I don't want to hurt myself or anybody else. But the drive today, it's like 69 degrees outside. It has been mostly cloudy and it looks like there could be rain ahead and you might be like, Alicia, if it's mostly cloudy, why are you wearing your sunglasses? That's just for when that sun sneaks in there because my eyes are super sensitive to sun. So I have this on. Um, I hope it doesn't rain. There was a few years ago, my daughter and I came from Omaha over to close to Iowa City, Iowa on this same road uh, we were getting ready to go on a girl's trip to Mackinac Island with my mom, my sister-in-law, my sister, my daughter, and I. And that trip was the scariest trip I have ever had in my life. I swear a tornado must have been chasing us. It rained so hard. We are going like 15 miles an hour on the interstate. So let's hope that doesn't happen today. And another just kind of off-topic point, if you ever get the chance to go to Mackinac Island, I highly, highly suggest it. It was a blast, just nice and slow and relaxed there with no cars. Um, yeah, just very peaceful. So let me know below if you've ever been to Mackinac Island. And I was going to bring up some other stuff before I talked about Stamp Joy, but maybe I'll remember that later. Speaking of rain, it is now kind of misting on my windshield. I hope it doesn't turn into anything worse. I know when I checked the other day, it wasn't going to be anything, but I haven't checked the weather in a couple days. So let's talk a little bit about Stamp Joy and why I am making this trip. So a couple years ago in, wait, maybe it was just last year. I don't know. Time is just so weird now. So the fall of 2020, which yeah, I guess it was a year ago. Um, I was gonna go with my friend Danny, who you know has teamed up with me on collaborations, and you know that she's like a local friend to me who's crafty. We were gonna go meet my sister in, I can't remember if it was gonna be in Ankeny or Des Moines at that time, but we were gonna go to Stamp Joy 2020 in the fall. And of course, in March, 
everything shut down. And when it came time to sign up in July for Stamp Joy, and sorry for the shaking, um, they did decide that it was gonna go virtual. So Danny skipped it, but my sister and I still did the virtual and we would just kind of Marco Polo each other or FaceTime each other between the classes or how to make the cards. And it was fun. We had a good time. And like you get, you got tons of product to make the cards and they were adorable. And you got to, you know, see Taylor and some of her design team creating cards. But again, it wasn't in person, so it was a little bit different. We then decided in the spring of 2021 to do the virtual one again. At this time, we stayed on Zoom, I think, pretty much the whole time, just so we could chat back and forth while we were in class. And my mom actually went to my sister's and hung out with her and made cards with us. So that was more fun. But I am super excited that this is back in person. I do hope it goes well because I'm not going to lie. I am a little bit nervous about going in big groups, but that's why I have my mask, um, my masks. I have my hand sanitizer and I'm just hoping, knock on wood, to stay safe and healthy through this and have a good time. Well, I am going to go ahead and stop the talking part here for now because it is more of a light rain now, so I want to be safe um, until my next little talk. I just wanted to pause here to remind you about the live we did from Des Moines on Saturday night. That and my entire Stamp Joy 2021 playlist will be linked in the description box below. And now back to the road trip. It is me again. I am stopped now. I am in Shelby, Iowa, which isn't as far as I would have liked to get before my first stop, but I did have to use the restroom and it was about lunchtime and they have a combination Love's, Chester's, and McDonald's. So I used the restroom in Love's, walked through the Chester's over to McDonald's, got myself a cheeseburger and fries, and my large Diet Coke, which I probably don't need any more liquid in my body, but I love their large Diet Cokes. I am going to eat quickly, get back on the road. Luckily, the rain stopped. It has sprinkled once since then. Now, my only thought about getting back on the road is when I exited, we were getting to a place where it was down to one lane. So I hope it's easy to get back on the interstate there with only one lane. But I just heard from my sister and they are actually ready to leave early. So she's on her way too. I cannot wait. See you soon, Lisa. All right, so where were we? I was talking about Stamp Joy and how I was a little bit nervous, but I'm also super excited to be in person. When they did announce that the fall would be in person, my sister and I signed up right away. Um, there's one price for Stamp Joy itself. And then if you want to take the class, which you get some exclusive products and make four more cards, then it was a little bit more. Uh, we went ahead and decided to go just for the, the full experience. So we got the retreat weekend and the class. And I did have to save up for it. You know, that's why I did um, Shop Your Stash September because I had overspent a little bit to be able to do this. We are staying in the Hilton downtown Des Moines. It is connected to the convention center. So we thought we wanted to be nice and close. That way, if we do get a little tired, we can go back to our room. Or if we want to drop stuff off, we can go back easier than if we had to drive there. So I haven't ever actually been to the in-person one. But how I think it works is included in the price is like, I think, 10 make and take. So they'll have different stations set up and you can just go there and do the card or project and then move on to another one. On the first night, which is tomorrow, Friday night, 
they're also having um, cock like a cocktail mixer or something and a card swap. Um, I am not going to do the card swap. My sister did, so I will be sure to insert a picture of the card she made because it is rather cute. I have seen pictures. And yeah, then I think we just hang out and have fun. I'm sure they'll have some events. There's going to be giveaways all weekend. There is on Saturday a Q&A with the design team. And then I think I already mentioned it, but my sister and I, we did sign up for the Craft Olympics. We have no idea what to expect for that. So that should be interesting. Hopefully I come home with a gold medal. <laughs> um, I think that is it for now. I'm going to resume listening to Hamilton and continue to keep my eyes on the road. And maybe I can get you some more shots of the drive. Bye-bye. Remember earlier when I said I was going to tell you something else, but I had forgotten and I was talking about like the trip here that I thought I might die. So I just remembered what I wanted to bring up about that trip. So I said it was like I swear it was like a tornado it was downpouring we were going so slow about a week before at home I was just you know driving around my little town that I live in and it was raining pretty hard so I put on the windshield wipers and one of them quit working that would probably usually give me panic unfortunately it was not the windshield wiper that was on mine that was still working. It was the one on the passenger side that was still working, but I did calm myself down because I remembered my husband telling me there will get to a point where the windshield will be just covered with rain and you'll be able to see through it. And that was true, you know, it was. And you know, luckily I'm going like 25 miles an hour, you know, in town, no big deal. Well, had that happened a week later, that windshield wiper breaking, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. I mean, I would have been on the interstate in a torrential downpour with no windshield wiper in the middle of nowhere. So I do think somebody was definitely looking out for me. Um, they knew that trip was coming up and they had it break at the right time. That was it. I just wanted to share that little story. Overall, the drive went pretty quickly and pretty smoothly, and when I hit downtown Des Moines, I was kind of surprised at how empty everything was. But I would rather have the streets like this than super busy and trying to find my hotel, which I eventually did. And because I was just a few minutes earlier than Lisa, I went ahead and got us checked in and hung out in the lobby until she arrived. We did have to park in an overflow lot, and on the way back, we had some pretty sights to look at, including the Iowa State Capitol. Once inside the room, we got everything unpacked for the weekend, and then we went on a little exploration to the convention center, and because by the time we got back we were both starving, we ordered in some Domino's pizza, and let me tell you, that tasted pretty yummy. You might think from the fact that we're both almost completely in bed asleep and at least laying down in bed that it's late and it's time. But you know what? It's only 5.57. <laughs> so it's been a long day. We got checked into the hotel room. We got the car parked. We walked around. You know, I just showed you some of those scenes. We went to the event center, which is connected here with a catwalk. We have no idea where the thing is tomorrow, so we have to research that because that place is huge. And yeah, hopefully we can find Stamp Joy tomorrow. And then we came back and we ordered dinner. We got Domino's and it was yummy. 
and now we're stuffed and ready for a nap. But <laughs> I really thought, you know, I'm like, I'm gonna get there and you know, we'll do all this stuff and I'll make all these videos and keep you updated. But honestly, guys, I'm kind of wiped out too. <laughs> Um, but I will, I'll touch base before we go to bed and then tomorrow, you know, I'll do some videos, some pictures, just so you can see what's going on. Well, we just checked the Stamp Joy Facebook page. You see our sign there? It's kind of hard. Or to bust. Watch. It says right Or there. bust. We just checked it and some people said they were at one of the hotels and got a, like a welcome gift, gift or something. Well, we didn't. So Lisa's like, call the front desk. And I'm like, no, I'm not calling the front desk. <laughs> so she did it. And we're going down there to get it. And look at my hair, people. I just got out of the shower and I wet my hair and put it in braids. So I'll have some curls tomorrow. And I'm going to the front desk like this. Of okay, the help me. I'm She's so fine. worse. All right, here we mm -hmm. go. All right, guys, we may officially be kind of lame or old. I'm not sure which it is. It is probably 7.28 p.m. right now. Lisa and I are kind of ready for bed. We've done our things to go to bed. I have wet my hair and put it in braids. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have some curls or little waves to show off. Um, but yeah, I might do a little video editing of the vlog so far, maybe catch up on some YouTube and Instagram posts, but I think we're off to bed. Do you want to say good night, Lisa? Night. Bye guys. <laughs>Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.